Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City where we want to help you build a Lego city regardless of the space you have. Welcome to my full review of my completed fire station mock. Specifically, this is an auxiliary fire station because I designed it to be a smaller fire station, not a main large fire station which houses a full fire engine and full fire brigade. Think of this as a small fire station that you might find in the outskirts of a city or maybe even nearer a forest based on the vehicles that I have here. This has turned out to be one of my favourite mocks that I've ever built due to the functional design and the aesthetic design. I think they work really well together to create lots of detail, lots of interest and an overall very nice build that will fit into my LEGO city. I'll give you a full review in this particular video, both the outside and the inside, and I'll also credit different subscribers and viewers who gave feedback to make some adjustments. I built this entire mock from start to finish and documented the process, so if you'd like to check out those videos, just follow the links in the description. This version of the mock is my final version based on all the improvements and refinements that I've made. So it's a bit different from what you see in the final video in the building a mock from start to finish series. But I'll go through each of them. First, let me just explain how I came up with this particular design. I've always wanted to build a fire station, but there wasn't a fire engine that I found was compatible. I knew I didn't want to build a full fire station, therefore that eliminated all the large fire engines. And I didn't want to build an unrealistic, not to scale fire station where the station barely fits the fire engine. I've seen some where the fire engine fits into the garage and you couldn't open the doors of the truck and you couldn't even climb into the fire engine because there virtually was no space. So I was looking around for different vehicles and I never liked the smaller vehicles that came with the official LEGO sets and I didn't really want to go about mocking a fire truck just to create a mock for the building. Then in 2019, LEGO released this fire truck and this is set 60231. Incidentally, uh, if you didn't know, if you check the license plates of all these official LEGO sets, it reflects their set number. And I thought that this was the perfect fire truck for my needs. And I knew I wanted an auxiliary fire station, so it made sense of this kind of truck. I didn't do any changes uh, to this, but I did change the wheels to grey because I thought the original white wheels were a bit too stark. You can check out the review I did for this fire truck in the video in the link above or the description below. Outside here, I've got another vehicle and there's space for either a small car or originally I thought of having a motorcycle. Then I thought maybe an ATV would be pretty cool and I was actually in the process of ordering one when I thought hey, this seems very familiar, maybe I already have one. And sure enough, I checked my LEGO City and I did have an ATV, but that was from set 60105. And what you see in front of you is my mock of an ATV. LEGO has released several fire ATVs such as 60105. There's also been 4427 and 30361 in recent years. But all of them, to me, they look like recreational ATVs. They look more like a toy. They don't look like a firefighting machine. So I googled some images for fire ATVs, and actually I didn't even realize it was a thing, but they're actually fire ATVs, and I based my mock of those designs. So it looks much more muscly, much more fierce, and I've also extended it by one stud. So it's longer by one stud than the original build and I can now put more equipment and I'm really happy with the design. It looks sleek yet it looks fierce. Now if you'd like me to teach how to build this particular Fire ATV, please let me know in the comments and I'll do a separate video tutorial for that. Now let's start the full tour of the fire station starting with the exterior. And let's take the main fire house itself first. Now this is based, or rather I would say the parts are based on the Sanctum Sanctorum set. Now I actually bought that set and I did a remock of just Pete's apartment. So I did a full building and I decided to take down that particular mock and I created this mock. I rather used the parts. So you might see some similarities to Pete's apartment based on the bricks used or the color schemes such as the dark tan bricks with the gray. But other than that, it's more or less a mock that I created. So let's start off with the front. 
there's lots of texture as you can see and there's a lot of detailing for the front and the reason was to give this otherwise plain front facade a bit of texture if not it could look quite boring but as you can see there's a lot of protrusion with different uh, little design elements such as these bars, these modified plates with closed bricks, these lamps, these tiles. So all this really contributes to the overall look. There's also this clock, not clock tower, but a bell tower which I designed. And this bell design comes from my old church mock which I did. Several subscribers have asked if I could do it in gold. I don't have the colors to do it in gold, but if you were to build this, you definitely could use gold, but I used it in grey. And I do not mind it in grey too much because it allows this gold helmet here to pop and really get attention. But I figure if this is gold as well, it wouldn't really harm the overall look. Now I should give some shout outs to several people because many subscribers and viewers did give their feedback and comments uh, for me to make these improvements. So let's start off with the header over here. Originally above the door, I had trans red and orange bricks, but Brickhead Studio suggested that I replicate the same detail that I created for the top of the windows, and I do think that is actually pretty good. Max Clark gave several suggestions, including switching out the modified bricks in the center over here because there were holes uh, where the bars are, but I didn't, I just left them with the modified bricks or the holes, so I changed that out uh, to a masonry brick over here. Did it for the back as well, and I also repositioned the lamps at his suggestion. Originally, I did want to change the lamps. They were below here, and they were very close to the garage and very close to the edge. And the main problem was when I separated the buildings, because it's designed as a modular building, the lamps would hit the ground if you had to set it down. So repositioning up here is much better and all these tiles are actually connected to Technic pins which are inserted into these long Technic bricks which run the entire width of the firehouse. This planter over here was suggested by Brick Bakery who wanted more greenery in the build. So I added that in just for him and I do agree it just gives it a bit more colour and really pops in this overall look of the build. Let's come to the main garage which I designed and I'm really happy with the design. Let's take out the truck for now. And this set of garage doors is something that I wanted from the start. I knew I wanted some configuration of these windows or uh, large windows, door frames, or whatever you want to call them, large window frames. And my original intention was to hinge these up as one unit. Now the problem with this, of course, is if you hinge it up, it does you know, extend out onto the road. So it can be quite a hazard if the other vehicles on the road in front, it can swing up and would take up a lot of space. So I decided to come up with this design of an accordion folded door set, which I really like. I think this is pretty cool. It's really realistic as well. And I decided to keep it as just one set of doors because several people suggested having two doors, maybe having one third here and two thirds here. But personally, while you can definitely do that yourself, I enjoy uh, this design and look very much. Just a note if you're building such a thing, notice all these are round bricks and there's a need for round bricks so that this door can close. If you had a regular brick, it would not close because the corner of this particular door frame due to the thickness would hit the corner of those square bricks. So round works perfectly. Now shout out to Robin Hood Bricks who suggested that be a light grey colour so that the overall design was consistent. I missed that out originally, that was dark grey. So a small point, but I agree with him, details make uh, the entire build work. Originally, my door was also mounted so that it opened up to the left, but Adrian Langley correctly highlighted that it could open to the right and it works much better because it doesn't impede to the next building and they just fold nicely all the way just like that. Thanks to Chaotic Neutral who highlighted that this helmet should be turned 90 degrees so that the side profile should be seen. Originally I had it front facing and I agree this looks much better. Now let's have a look at the back of the build. Now the sides are quite plain because this was built as an inset modular building so it will be placed between two buildings but as you can see there's lots of back detail here. Just 
lots of interesting texture to make it look a bit gritty and I wanted it to look really different from the front of the firehouse just to give it a different thematic look and because it's the back I allowed it to be a bit more run down and a bit more distressed. So we've got this broken up concrete over here, got a bit of grass area and there's a wall crawl over here. This is a back door to the garage and this is the back door to the administrative office of the fire station. There's also this set of fire escapes that lead up to the second floor as well as lead up to the roof. And I'd like to highlight and thank SW Brick 75 and Brick Life who suggested that the fire escape be repositioned so that minifix can go up. And that's how I designed it. The minifix can go up over here and they can go in. And if they need to, they can bring this down to go up to the roof because there's another ladder here. And if they want to go to this part of the roof above the garage, they can climb down over here. So I moved that there. I also added in the step during the build process just due to the alignment, I needed a step so that Minifix could go up to the second floor door. So I worked that out. And I also added all the different detail just to, again, make it look a bit more interesting. On this side, it's really plain. Originally, I did put in some light tan colored panels, but I moved it out. I switched it out for gray bricks and you'll see why when I open it up in just a while. So that's the exterior of the build. Now let's switch to a top view and I'll show you the roof as well as the interior. Here's a look at the top of the fire station. This is the garage and a shout out to Perfect Painter who suggested I put in a skylight for the top of the roof and I think that works really well just so that the garage isn't so dark. And over here we have the top of the bell tower and we've got an air conditioning unit over here and this water tank. Now this water tank is not for the kitchen or for the toilet. This is really emergency water reserves. In the event of a crisis, if the fire truck needs to refill and there's no water supply, they'll get it from this tank over here. Now let me just remove the garage top. It's a modular building and you can see inside. The first thing I'd like to point out is this over here. That is actually a stopper plate. It is a two by four plate, but I've put in a red light and a green light. And the idea is these lights signal for the fire truck to exit the fire station. That means all is clear and they can get out after the doors are opened and uh, after the traffic is cleared. But it also serves a functional purpose. This is a stopper plate. And a shout out to Michael Gleff who suggested it as well as someone else, but I couldn't find out who was that person. I'm so sorry. But the idea of the stopper plate is to stop this garage door from just closing inside. So what I have are Technic pins inserted into this Technic brick. And there are four pins, so at least there's a bit of a clutch power. And this stops the garage door from going inside the garage. A small point, but a nice point. And I've developed a functional use as well. And let's have a look. Let's take this out so more light can come in. And we'll get to the fire house itself later. But here you can see the kits I've done around the garage. Lots of equipment. And let's start off with the very end. And I've made some changes since my last video. Let's have a look at this end and check it out. Right over here, we've got a display of firefighters who have been cut up by magicians and not put back correctly. No, these are firefighting uh, uniforms or suits with the helmets ready for firefighters to run in and put them on when there's a fire. And here we have a very nice fire bell or fire alarm. And this comes from the Ghostbusters HQ. So that's not my original design. I do have a wall of tools which are put on a plate and they're mounted on with uh, modified bricks. And I can just pop this off so that you can see all these are just held together by clips, but it really gives a nice look. And that's the modified brick there. So I can just put this here and that fits in and Minifix can just use that to get the tools they need. Coming back over here in this corner, you can see there is a fireman who is now doing the maintenance. We've got extra, I guess, CO2 over here, fire hoses, more canisters. We've got a large sledgehammer and an axe, 
walkie talkies and inside this cabinet we've got even more uh, equipment and chemicals for firefighting so there's lots of equipment all around uh, where firemen can basically load up uh, the fire truck and let me show you now the fire truck inside so I'll just back the fire truck inside you can see the white tarling done as a guide and let me just close this up so that you can see how it fits inside so this is with the garage door closed and you can see there's still ample space all around for firemen to open the doors load up the truck and do the various things they need so I'm really happy with the size and the overall design of the garage. Now let's come to the firehouse. This is the administrative office and this is basically where the, I guess the call, well it's not really a call center because this is an auxiliary fire station. There's no switchboard or call center. There's basically someone on duty and if they get a call, they get the call from the main fire station through that radio or that red telephone. And I've got a minifig here who is kind of the administrative captain of this uh, auxiliary fire station. She got the job because her hair matches the colour of the towels. No, I'm just kidding. She obviously got the job because she's more than qualified and she basically sends the firemen out on calls if needed. So we've got cabinets over there for more equipment if needed. We've got the desk where the uh, fire captain works from there's a television there oh there's of course the fire station dog over here we've got fire extinguisher uh, a little pantry area with a dustbin a coffee maker and a water cooler and this is the main door where you'd enter and this would be the back door where you'd exit to the back of the fire station and over here is another door which gets you to the garage. So there's lots of access points uh, to get to the garage and I designed that because if there's an emergency, if there are five men on duty here, they can just run in through here, they don't have to go out. And if they happen to be on the outside or the second floor, they would just come down and enter the garage this way. So uh, very easy for them to get into the garage. Now let's have a look at the second floor. Here's a look at the second floor. So to get to the second floor, you climb up the back fire escape and open this door. This is the resting area or resting quarters for the firemen. Now in this auxiliary station, there are four firemen on duty at any one time, but two always be on active standby and two can rest at any one time. That's why there's only one bunker bed with two beds. And we have one fireman who is resting right now while all his other colleagues are doing maintenance below. Let's remove the bunk bed so they can have a look at it. And this is designed after a standard army style bunk bed, or at least the ones I used when I was in national service. And it's all a kind of a metal frame, very realistic in terms of the size, as well as the look and the safety features so you don't roll off and die off the bunk bed. Now, I did teach how to build this in a brick design breakdown live stream. Follow the link in the card above or the description below to learn how to build this. And it's held together by jumper plates right there, so it's easy to put in and take out. There's a nightstand with a photograph over there. Over here, we've got a toilet. And it's got everything you need. There is a toilet as well as a shower. And it's actually pretty spacious. And right outside, there's a sink over here. On the other side is a kitchen. Let me show you the kitchen. The funny thing is, the kitchen looks like it's on fire. Early on, I told you that, that the fireman might be attending a call and the call will come from this guy over here when he realizes that the kitchen is on fire. So we've got a whole kitchenette built, including a fridge. And you can also check out the link for the live stream to learn how to build all these elements. Now, shout out to Joshua Andre Lippin, who mentioned there should be a clock. So I've got a clock over there and Wanda Richardson, uh, mentioned there should be a fire extinguisher above as well which is pretty important since there is a fire now in the kitchen so that's the second floor i hope you enjoyed this look at my auxiliary fire station mock let me know what you think about it in the comments below we will be providing digital building instructions for this particular mock at smallbrickcity.com shop in the weeks to come and i'll let you know once they're ready if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell. 
Thanks for watching. Check out these two videos before you go.